It is time to roll some dice. Alright, so what you just saw was a combination of the dice tray module, which is down here. And using the dice tray module, I have quick access to all of my dice from 1d4 all the way up to 1d100. And then you also saw the module dice so nice. Let me show you that in the module settings first. Going to configure. Oh, sorry, going to manage modules and typing in dice. So we have dice so nice, dice tray, and then I've added in two as well, these bottom two here, DSN, weighted companion cube dice set, and Lordu's custom dice for dice so nice are additions to the dice so nice so you can add in extra flair, making them more special or how you want them to be precisely for your game. Let's take a look at that in the 3D dice settings underneath module settings. So here in the 3D dice settings, you can change a lot of the stuff here. You can change the color, you can change the appearance, you can change the patterns. I can even with the companion cube, I can have dice as if they are coming from the game portal. So you can see how you can make the dice that you use your own. And this is available both to the GM as well as the players can adjust how their dice look in their module settings as well. So you can see what is available here. Um, you can you know enable and disable as you wish. I just always use it though because I think it's really cool. I like the flash of it. And then we have the dice tray which is simple it makes it very quick to access your dice when you need it. I, not too much to this, but I think it's really cool and I wanted to show it off. Okay, uh, thanks everyone for listening. That's it.